I've got two boxes of Boxy. One should be my premium, the other the Lux. So if you want to see what I got and if I got one of those awesome Natasha Denona palettes or if I cry instead, stay tuned. Hi and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. Chloe and Bind aren't with me this evening, but if you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for checking us out. We do all kinds of unboxings, unbaggings, get ready with me's, collaborations, all kinds of fun stuff. So if you're into that kind of thing, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're returning, thank you so much for being a part of our YouTube family. So as I said in my spoiler, I got both of my boxes of BoxyCharm, one should be my premium, the other my Lux. I just got them. It's the last week of September that I'm filming. So hopefully this goes up the first week in October to be at least a little more relevant. And they've been having a lot of issues with, um, I guess they moved warehouse. I kind of suspect that they moved their warehouse in with Ipsy or something because as you may have noticed, if you get Ipsy and BoxyCharm, we're getting a lot of repeats, a lot of the same stuff. I get it in BoxyCharm, then I get it in Ipsy or I get it as a choice in Ipsy. Um, so there seems to be a lot of overlap so much so that I ordered from the shop in August, got half the order a couple of weeks ago, the other half of the order, they finally said, yeah, we can't get it to you. Oh, well, um, they had offered me a bunch of $6 off the shop, uh, off the drop shop coupons, but you couldn't combine them. So one $6 like one six dollar at a time and then you're paying the two dollar handling like they took away the shipping but it's still another two dollars so even if i just spent six dollars i'd be spending eight dollars so with the six dollars off i'm still paying two dollars i didn't think that was very fair i didn't like that like i didn't cause this put them all together but they refused they said it wasn't fair to do that whatever i'm not, I'm not happy with that so we're going to get into this. I don't know which is which, but if I don't see a Natasha Denona palette in my Lux box, go on. Done. Done with the Lux. So we'll see. We'll see, Boxy. You're going to treat me right. So they do have three different boxes. They have the base box, the premium box, and the Lux box. The Lux box is quarterly and replaces your base box when you get the Lux box. Okay, this is my Lux box. So let's get into this because there was another thing that I saw that I was really excited about. So I did get a variation of it and I think a very exciting variation of it. The first thing that I'm pulling out is a Honey Blossom sponge gel. I did see others get this. Um, It smells nice. It's a nice scent. I did just watch um, Gina over at Unboxing Discoveries by G, and I know she had gotten this. She got a Henny and Lev pocketbook, which I had actually gotten in, well, some time back when I used to get All True. I got it in an All True mystery bundle, and then I did purchase another one from the Ipsy shop. So again, I think they're combining there. There too warehouses into one maybe they're going to merge finally in full which i am all for because if i'm going to get the same products in both i don't need both so i'm going to have to cancel something but if you combine it i don't have to cancel anything i don't i don't have any fomo so the sponge gel is an 18 dollars value these are um soap infused body buffers sometimes they have strings this one does not some of them are shaped like flowers, sometimes butterflies, sometimes they have like a kid's line that are shaped like rubber duckies and butterflies and what else do they have? The dinosaur? I don't know. But they have a few different shapes. Those smell amazing. They're like fresh and fruity. This is nice. It's a honey blossom. I might already have this one. So if I do, I'll probably put it aside because I think I have probably about 50 sponge gels at this point. I might have a little sponge gel problem by LaRousse Beauty. I believe I have gotten these in the past as well 
from BoxyCharm. It is a set of three brushes. They are the LaRousse brushes, which I love. I don't think I did get this set. I got a different set. This I like because it has an eyeliner brush. So that is nice. And I've been trying to play with um, using the palette for the eyeliner instead of just automatically grabbing for a regular. But sometimes the colors aren't dark enough in the palette, so I do need that black liner. But sometimes they are too. So we have that. And then we have a couple of what I would use for cheeks. This is their On The Go set. It has a dense domed foundation or contour brush, a powder brush for highlighter or blush, and a small dense angled one for eyeliner or eyebrows. This set of three brushes, $96. $96. That is insane. They're nice brushes. I'm happy to get them, but I wouldn't pay $96 for them. By Make is a serum balm. It is a hydrating treatment. This is a new brand to Boxy. It's valued at $26. And it says it provides instant hydration while softening, smoothing, and plumping. Formulated with natural lip volumizing ingredients. Oh, so it's for the lips. I would not have guessed that. I wonder if it's got color. Pink Cerise, it says. Okay, that's exciting. I could maybe get into that. Oh, it's not as bright as I thought. No scent. Nice big applicator. Oh, it's a, it's, it's, it's like a gloss, like a clear with a pink tint. So it just gives like a little bit of color, not sticky. I like that it's a lip serum, which means it should be doing something for my lips, hydrating it like it said. Oh, it's got pomegranate flowers along with a liquefied jojoba wax. It adds luxurious, long-lasting shine and cushion. By Beauty Bio, I have the Bright Eyes Depuffing, depuffing and Brightening eye gels. So these are a little under eye. There are eight pairs in the box. So these contain colloidal silver that helps reduce visible puffiness and fine lines. Pearl to help instantly, eyes instantly appear brighter. Collagen to firm and tighten and aloe to soothe your skin and diminish puffiness. Now it does say that this is the difference after one application, top is before, bottom is after. What I thought was interesting though, and looking at the back of this, it shows that you can use these three different ways. So if you take the wider part and you put the wider part here with the thinner part there, that helps with eye puffiness and dark circles. If you do it the opposite way with the wider part here, because they're kind of shaped like a comma, right? So if the wider part is here and the thinner part kind of goes up in here, all right? That targets your crow feet and you can put them with the wider part here going down into that comma shape on each side to help with these kind of wrinkles that you get over in here. I had never thought of that before. Don't think I've ever seen that in the instructions either. So very clever. And these are valued at $28. By LYS, we have the Think Bright Glow and Hydrate Serum with vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. I'm going to show you this. I did just get this in the AIA bundle um, a month or so back. So I'm not going to open this up. It's a very nice serum. I have used it a couple of times. I do have some other serums open though. So 
I haven't really used it a lot. I think I used it like once or twice just to kind of check it out. But I'll keep you guys updated. That's valued at $28. It's got like some nice, it's almost like the um, niacinamide drops in that they give you like a little bit of glow. Right by, I'm guessing this is pronounced Queen, Q-V-E-E-N Studios. These are a set of lip liners in the colors spray tan and SOS. So I'm thinking those are the colors on her that she's using. These are the colors. And there is how it looks. It looks creamy. Oh yeah, it's very creamy. So there it is kind of with that one, with that gloss. And here is the spray tan. And I put that above the gloss. And I actually think that would look nice with like a pinky nude. Like I wouldn't def I definitely wouldn't do like a dark color with it, but I would do a nice pinky nude with that. Now that has a MSRP of $18. Next we have a Pat McGrath Labs Single Shadow. This is a $25 value just for the one shadow. Now, the only other thing that I have had from this brand was a mascara, which was very nice. I got it in my very first Glam Bag X. That was like the best Glam Bag X ever. Then, in my opinion, it kind of started to go south a little bit. And there's a lot of sparkles in it. Um, the last one, though, I, I liked quite a bit. That was with the Keys Soul Care. Now look at that color. What? One swatch gorgeousness. And I have really been into blues. I don't know if it's like the redder hair just makes it seem to stand out more. I don't know, but I really have been liking blues lately. And last is that Natasha Denona palette. This is a $69 value. This is a big score for BoxyCharm. I think this is something that is what we've all been waiting for. And those of us who kind of hung on, hung on for this kind of thing. Because listen, we've been through a couple of price increases. Promises that there was going to be more takeover boxes. I believe next month is their premium will be a takeover box with Tarte. It's my guess because they did say one was coming. And I got two Tarte products. Well, I got to choose for my choice two products. And it was a Tarte versus a Tarte product. So that's my guess. I'm no Sherlock Holmes. Now, I do love the Natasha Denona palettes. I think... This is a gorgeous one. I've seen it. I almost purchased it. There are those colors. So you have some pinks, some browns, and then some like greens, like gorgeous greens. So here's that like lighter blue. All right. There's the next one. So that's those two right there. Right there. Oh, look at that green right there. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's do a couple of more here. I'm going to do that rich brown. Oh, it's so creamy. And then this kind of orangey one. There's the brown and the orange. Like every single one of these is creamy. And then the next one there. And I'm going to go with this one here. Look at that payout. You will not go wrong with the Natasha Denona palette. I have to tell you, I have two full-size ones. I got them on sale from the Natasha Denona site. 
not like a BoxyCharm price sale either. This was like, I think I paid 35 for them. Something like that. 35, 40, they were $70 ones as well. They do have a great payout and an all day color. So you're not gonna go wrong with that. It's definitely a good investment. All right, so that is my Boxy Lux. Now let's get into that premium box. All right, so there is the premium box. There is a little sneak peek of what I got. What I don't have is a card. So we're gonna wing it. I will look at prices and um, pop those somewhere around here. But the first thing is a heavy hitter. It's Elemis. It's their Super Food Fruit Vinegar Liquid Glow Radiance Facial Toner. Super excited for this because I am almost done with my toner. I have one at home by Skin Chem Chemist that I was really excited about at first because it was a spray. And then there was about half of it left and I'm spraying and nothing's coming out. So I open it up. The nozzle only went halfway down the bottle. So there, the only way to get out the rest is to obviously unscrew it and put it on like a little pad and clean it off. But like, why wouldn't the sprayer nozzle part, like the bottom part, go all the way down to the bottom? That makes no sense to me. Like this one, it goes all the way down to the bottom. The other one, halfway. So this is the product. I love toner, love it. My face doesn't feel clean. Like if, after I wash my face, if I don't use toner, it almost feels like dry. Oh, and this is one of those, I, I, I love these kinds of things. I don't know why, but you press it down and the liquid comes in there. It just sprout out like a little whale. Oh, it smells nice too. Okay, excited about that. By one size, we have a brow defining pencil. I believe, yes, this is not in my color. So when I went on for choice, I went on later in the day. I forgotten it was choice day. I was home, but like, well, I wasn't home actually. I had, it was the day my mother had surgery. So I had to bring her to the hospital. We were there for quite a while. Then I came home for a little bit. Then I had to go back. So there was a lot going on. So like five o'clock at night, I was like, oh yeah, it's choice day. Let me go on and choose something. Well, this was the only product left for me to choose from. And it was only in this color. Just this color. It doesn't match me at all. So I am going to pass this on, but... I will show it to you. It looks like the one that I got the what is it, Uama or something like that. Anyway, I've been using it. I really like this though is going to be too dark of a shade for me. So I'm not going to open it up or play with it in any other way other than to just show you what it looks like inside of here. By the new company is it's called the pill it's a vita c a h a and n a niacinamide maybe i think this is a serum if i'm not mistaken yes all in one serum this is another like really expensive brand by Tresluce, we have the always suave lip scrub Ooh, happy happy packaging so there it is, but it's a lip scrub, so it's going to be not for wearing. So while there's color to that, there's no, there's no color when you put it on. I put it on right here. And so it's just a very gentle lip scrub too. By Tula Skin Care is the Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel. So here is how that looks. Oh, it's kind of, I was expecting it to be loose, but it's not. It's, um, it's like a gelatin kind of, I think I'm going to like that actually. It has a little bit of a scent, nothing overpowering, but I think I'm going to like that. I do like the thicker blurring type ones versus the glass 
ones. I just feel like I look oily with the glass primers. And then last is this big old primer by Iconic. This is the Desk to Dance eyeshadow palette. I do have another one in this type, but I believe it's, yeah, it is different. Oh, look at those glitter ones. Oh my goodness. That is going to be fun. So there is Manifest and Sitting Pretty. And I got to get into this other one with the glitter in it, this money plant. I need a money plant. Oh, you see that shift? Mm-hmm. This one down here was the one that was green when you looked at it. So in different lights, it's going to look either green or... All right, Boxy. You won me over. I'm still in love with you. Now Ipsy's got to get their act together. All right. So obviously, I am very happy with my premium and my... Lux. Um, great, great items. A nice mixture. I like a nice mixture of makeup and skincare. It doesn't need to be all makeup. It doesn't need to be all skincare. I get really, really good skincare in the Test 2 Beauty and the um, Beauty Pass boxes. This is really good skincare too, but like the bulk of my skincare, I think I'm going to stick with that and try to get just a little bit more makeup from these boxes only because I am getting more skincare in the test tube and VIP beauty pass boxes. And I do get some really good makeup in ice cream beauty and slay, slay glam box. So um, I think this is nice to have that kind of mixture, but you know, let me know your thoughts. I am thinking that I'm likely going to give up the glam bag plus unless they really step up. Last month was a huge, or actually, September was a huge disappointment in my choices, in my products. So I will see, but I'm feeling like we are getting a lot of repeats. And if I have to choose one, I feel like I get everything first from Boxy. So that might be my go-to. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know if we are Boxy twins for our premium or our Lux. Or if you don't get it, just let me know your thoughts about the products. And otherwise, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you would. I will come back at some point and um, either tag on to the end, because this was kind of a long video with the two of them, or possibly just do a separate one where I pull out the products from the boxes and do a makeup look or two, because they did get two different palettes. So we'll see what I do with that. Well, thanks so much, and hopefully I'll see you soon. All right, so I am back to create a look using the Natasha Denona um, Zendo palette from the BoxyCharm Boxy Lux. I'm going to start using this for an all over eye look. Then I'm going to take this green right here to do that outer edge. Next, I'm going to come in with this color right here in kind of that center area. Then I'm going to take this little Pat McGrath Labs and do just like the outer, like in between where this is, like right in there. Then with this fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with this kind of let, you know, yeah, that'll go good.
and I'm going to see how this does for a liner. I'm going to go just to the inner corners with this golden color. And then I'm just going to deepen up the crease a little bit with this kind of like olivey color. Okay, so pre-blend. I'm going to take this big brush and I'm going to do some blending. Okay, so there's the difference between the blended and the unblended. All right, just a little something under the eye here in this dark brown. And then the light green on that inner part of under eye. And there is the eye look. Now we also got this lip serum. So it just adds like a little bit of a tint. I'm going to do my lashes and be right back. All right, there is the final look. I just threw on some mascara um, from a previous BoxyCharm, the VFC mascara. And that's pretty much it. I did get lip liners in here, but I don't know that I'm going to use them. So I'm just going to set those aside. I'm not a big lip liner person. All right. Well, thanks so much for spending a little time with us. Please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you would, and hopefully we'll see you soon.